Russia, Finland for the bronze medal. The Russians playing left to right. And the last time these two teams met in this competition, it was 5-0 Finland over Russia. Can the Russians improve on that? In goal, they've got uh, Ivanikov, the youngster, playing in his first game in the competition. And that's an unusual choice, but he's out there. Mulish is between the pipes at the other end of the rink. That comes all the way back to the blue line. And the Russians now bring it out at center. Stopped right there by Kiprusov. Kiprusov to Kapanov. Makala comes in on the left wing. Makala taken off the play by Sorokin. And that comes all the way out into neutralized territory. Kudashov overskated that and back come the Finns. This one is going to be fast. It's going to be physical, and watch for the pretty plays out there. Both these teams are capable of performing. Shendelev pops it up on the wing. Torgeyev now. Hamalainen squeezes him out of the play and drops it back to Niemannen. Niemannen up on the wing. And if you've just joined us, we are live here. The short track finals will be seen on Eurosport, so... We haven't deserted you. We are live here at the hockey game, but the short track finals will be seen on Eurosport momentarily. We will let you know when they're coming up. We'll take a look at uh, Kurt Lindstrom. He's a Swede, but he's coaching this Finnish team, and he's doing one heck of a job out there. Uh, whenever he talks to the team, they have to use a translator because he doesn't speak Finnish. But that hasn't slowed him down. A long clearance, and we have a whistle on the plate. And we take a look at Viktor Tikhanov, the coach for the Russian team. Tikhanov, who normally goes up and down the bench discussing mistakes that players make while they're on the ice, seems to be very positive. As these Olympic Games have gone on, Coach Tikhanov has looked more and more relaxed. He's enjoying himself. We've seen him do a little dance after his team won a big game the other night. He's a different man out there, and he's got the guys really pumped up. They fought back hard when they came back from behind in their last game. First real test there for Milish. Former NHLer dropped right in the deep end there with a couple close-in shots, and Milish forced to hang on and call for the face-off in his zone. Mullis going for a quick skate to the corner to get himself loose. I was just going to finish off what I was saying before, Paul, that the Russians came back hard against the Swedes very late in the game, and at least they finished losing the game, but on a positive note as they scored two goals very late. A long clearance goes all the way down the ice. This one is live, and no score yet here in the first period. From the face-off, Bezu Kletnikov got it back. That bobbles right in front. Cleared away by Berta. Along the woodwork, the Russians keep it in. The Russians with Karpov along the boards. That squirts to the far side. Berta picks it up. Berta a little tap forward, and the Russians pump it right back in to finish territory. First couple of minutes of this period have been played now with Sorman and backhands it along the boards. And the Russians are closing the Finns down before they get started. Sormanen with Koivu. Karpov gets in there in a hurry. That's bobbled off the boards. Karpov goes in on 16. Pelton and takes him out of the play. And that's dumped all the way down to Davidov. Davidov against Koivu. Koivu flips it away. Denisov. Good pass up on the wing. Vinogradov. Vinogradov right out front. The shot comes in and that ricochets off the plexi. Smirnov got a piece of that and it went upstairs. Nikolishin getting involved behind the net. A couple of Finnish players having a quick word with him. Denisov and Vinogradov having a good shift. Denisov, three goals and one assist in these Olympic Games, has gotten a lot of valuable ice time. He's playing really well. A 23-year-old has gained a lot of attention throughout the Olympics. Well, the winner in this one 
picks up bronze. The loser gets fourth place. Oyanin against Kudashov. That goes into the corner. Kudashov along the hash marks. Oyanin wants it and races for it. Sorokin is there to bat it through neutralized territory. Kiprusov along the boards. That's deflected and pushed away as Varus got back and Stromberg having problems getting out of his own zone. This is a good first two or three minutes for the Russians. Kiprusov a long pass and icing is the call as that one went the distance. Thins trying to open up the game a little bit. The Russians are putting a lot of pressure on the forecheck. Two men going in. The Russians trying to get a guy going on the outside. We've seen two or three icing calls already. Yukatami on the bench. He'll be the backup as Mulish gets set for this faceoff. Eftukin tries to get it back to Ivanov and that doesn't work. Kapanen, Kapanen poke jacked out of the play by Ivanov, a good move by the number 10 for Russia as that bobbles along the boards. Utila couldn't swipe at it and eventually it comes all the way down onto the D. Kapanen steals that. Kapanen all the way back to the blue. Utila fans on the shot as he tried to get that in. Makala waiting for the to drift his way in. If Tukin picks it up and loses it right away. The Finns trying to get the tip in there with Kapanen. Helmanen and Kapanen working in that corner, throwing the puck around. Makala and Hamalainen are back deep. And the Russians pick it up and come forward. Four minutes gone. Into the corner. Cleared away by Tarasenko. And the Russians still providing a lot of good defensive stuff in neutral zone. Finns putting pressure on the Russians going to a little dump and chase game, but you can see both teams changing quickly. They're both going with three lines in this game. Long shot. And Mulish steers that away. Laukinen picks it up. Good pass up onto the blue line. Paolo feeding it up to Niemann. That rides along the blue. It'll stay inside. Berta sends it into the corner. Beritsky onto the wing. Karpov shot. Bezu Kladnikov went in and looked for the rebound and just couldn't pick it up. Great individual effort by Karpov. Whoa, he was turning blue shirts inside out. Karpov through the defense. And through the first defenseman, coming right in on the net, getting a good shot off. Mulish coming up big there. Karpov really putting on a great display. Still no score in this one. It bounces in at a corner. Nikolishin tried to steal it and break towards the net. Long pass up by Peltonen. Up onto the wing. Right in front. Loose puck is there. Ivanikov hesitated and eventually went down. Halatalo was out there. A big chop. Lettinen right in front. And Johansson has the arm up. The indication is tripping. Ivanikov hesitated on that and waited for the shooter to come to him. He ended up with more than just the shooter coming to him. Half the guys on the ice ended up around the goal. Ivanikov not able to get the grab on the puck. Now he's fishing. He's out in no man's land by the end of it. And the bodies come flying in. Mikulishin goes to the box for tripping. The call I was referring to was the one just before that. When the puck was right to the side of the net, Ivanikov just kind of sat there and waited, but uh, nevertheless, he was kept out of the goal. Power play. Keskinen tries to get it back, and Berezin tips it out of the zone. 5-24 going on the period. Kiprasov to Keskinen. Back to Kiprasov. The shadow comes from Berezin. Verta moves up front and just takes the short pass. Keskinen, a high flip into the corner. Niemannen, Niemannen slams on the brakes. Keskinen was waiting. That comes back to Kippersoff. Kippersoff elects to go to the hash marks to Keskinen. 
Keskinen back to Kiprasov. A lot of cat and mouse out there. Keskinen takes the first shot, the second one upstairs. Glove down, Smirnov, the little gentle tap on the pads for the young goaltender. Keskinen moving the, the puck around, takes a look. He eventually elects to go to the net himself. The shot would have been wide, but Ivanikov gets the glove out, even though Sorokin appeared to be screening him. The Finns now with that kid line out there. Koivu. Koivu with Lettinen. Lettinen all the way back to the blue shot deflected away Kippersoft got a piece of that Verta goes in one minute two seconds on the power play Verta to the top of the circle another shot comes in and that's deflected away and held right in the circle Shendelov playing some old time hockey out there getting in front of that one you can see what the Finns are trying to do. They work the puck out high to the blue line. They go with the off slots. And then they've got a man right in front of the net who's tied up with a defenseman. The fifth player is trying to get to one post or the other and be open. He's the extra guy out there, and they're trying to get the Russian box to rotate to their advantage. Ivanikov keeps it moving out there, but it's still kept in the zone. Karpov couldn't move it. Shargorodsky tried to slam it out of the zone that didn't work Verta came in in a hurry Karpov now picks it up still it's not out and the Finns eventually have to chase as that goes all the way down the ice with 33 seconds on the power play some tenacious forechecking from the Finns out there as the Russians set up the box and defend Utila drops it back Makala Makala tries to split the defense and he's dragged down. Davidov touches the puck and play continues. One or two whistles out there. The fans don't like that. The, the clearance goes all the way down the ice. And Mulish gets it up in a hurry. The Finns back on the attack. Utila, rink wide pass is batted down. Helmanen out there. The Russians are back at full strength. Tarasov makes a chop. Utila sends it in. Still not out of the way. The shot, and again, Ivanikov comes up big. He's not concerning himself with the traffic in front of him. He really is concentrating hard on where the puck is and what the shooter is doing. He does seem very well tuned in. He's moving from side to side, and Utila had two shots at that one. Nikolishin gave it right back to him, and he had the other shot. Well, just a reminder that we will show the men's 500 and the ladies 1,000 short track finals after the first period. So in the break, stick with us. We're going to have those finals. Sorokin is tripped. Sorokin gets that out as far as the hash marks. And now the Russians get it out, and the Russians, I'm sure, will get a blast from Tikhanov about getting that puck out of their own zone. who will tip up on the wing. Alitalo. Alitalo goes in. Ivanikov goes down. Oyanin picks up the puck. Oyanin tries to get it out front. Lokanen takes the shot, and that's way high. Oyanin circles, drops back. And Smirnov is all over him. Berezin is all over his man on the boards. Hamalainen somehow got it to Alitalo. And boy, is that tough along the boards. The Russians are finding it very difficult to get out of their own zone. Believe me, it's not easy out there. Watch this with Alitalo working in. Sorokin goes in now. Alitalo cutting right in on the backhand. He's fighting off the chops. He was really cut down by a couple of Russian defensemen. Eptukin tries to get that back and the Finns with that quick break, but a great move there by Tarasenko. 
Back on the attack. Turkeyev lets a shot go for the far side. Another shot comes in and the Russians fan on it. There's going to be another penalty on the plate. Elbowing is the call. Referee quickly going over, signaling the elbow. Pins aren't too pleased or too sure about the call. Taking their time, they're going to try and get the last word in. Torgayev put on the backside of his uniform. The hands were up pretty high. Didn't really look like there was much in it for elbows. Sormanen given the penalty nonetheless. 8.30 gone in the first period. So Sormanen sits for two. The first power play for the Finns of this game. No score here in the first period. This one is for the bronze medal. And the Russians now move it up. Shendelev quickly up onto the wing. Eftukin breaks, knocked off his feet. And that's thrown out into neutralized territory. And the Russians regroup back at the blue line. Long pass right up the middle. That wasn't contained. 132 on the power play. Loose puck in the corner is picked up. And here come the Russians again. Back on the attack, Torgayev. Torgayev slows it down a little, stops on the hash marks and flips it backhanded into the corner. Torgayev wants it on the red line. That comes all the way back. A little tip right in front. Torgayev working with Tarasenko. And the Finns get it out of the zone. One minute now remaining on the power play. The Russians bring it up again. Varitsky. Varitsky's pass forward is batted down. Shargorotsky gets it up on the wing and the Russians again. Bezukladnikov circles. Bezukladnikov, his pass is intercepted and it's tight out there. It really is. Every time you see a Russian, there's a Finn right next door. Both teams are playing it tough in their own end. The Finns were nearly flawless. I mean, they're only, only allowed one goal per game or less than that. Their first six games giving up five goals, but the last game against the Canadians, giving up five to the Canadians, certainly showing that their defense was vulnerable at times. Laukinen fired that in. Tarasov throws it up, and they hit the red line seven seconds now on the power play. Mulish gets a touch on that, and we'll have a face-off. All eyes going right straight to the referee, thinking that there might possibly be a delay at game penalty. The referee just shaking his head no and pointing for the face-off to stay deep in finished territory. Nikolishin with that protective headgear for a jaw injury he took some time ago. Three seconds on the power play as that comes back to the blue. The shot comes in. Munich goes down. Kiprasov bangs it off the boards. And the Russians are following through on their checks. Now the Finns are back at full strength. Sorman and back on the ice. Loose puck in the corner. Nikolishin goes in hard. Berta stays on him. Munich jams the corner. Vinogradov. Vinogradov right out front. Davidov had camped on the corner. And it didn't work. And back come the Finns. Oyanin right out front. The pass doesn't come his way. Vinogradov picks it up. Pass up on the left wing, and that comes in front. Denisov was squeezed out of the play. A long clearance to the far side. Bouncing puck would have been an offside. Kudashov tried to move right through the red line. That didn't work. Hamalainen. Hamalainen again slows it down, drops it back. Both teams changing on the fly as that's flipped right up to the red line. The Russians with Guzmanov dumped. The shot comes in wide of the target. Kudashov was right there. Another penalty coming up. Kudashov behind the goal as soon as the Finns touch this. The whistle's going to blow. There goes the whistle. Penalty to Finland. Kuzmanov tripped on the play. The action continued for quite a while. The Finns trying to touch the puck. The Russians will go back to the power play. Both teams have had one opportunity with the man advantage, but neither have mustered a goal yet. 
Guzmanov coming over the blue line. You can see Stromberg turning the wrong way, but Oyanin gets the stick in. And he brings Guzmanov down. Oyanin for tripping at 11.49. Second power play for the Russians. Eftukin goes over, takes the draw, loses out, and that comes all the way back to Shendelev. Shendelev to Eftukin. Eftukin starts up quickly. His pass is batted down. Utila got a piece of it. Torgayev tries to run interference on Utila. Eftukin is dumped in the corner. Laukinen tried to get it out. Tarasenko. Back in behind the red, back to Tarasenko. All the way back, Shendelev, Tarasenko. Tarasenko cutting in now, the backhander. And another whistle on the plate. And another penalty. It's the Russians this time holding the call. Torgayev going to the penalty box for holding. Tarasenko cutting in on the goal right in front of the net. A fin is brought down and it's Torgayev that brings him down. It looked like a hook to me, but holding the stick is what the call was at the end of it. Either way, the Russians have a man in the box now. One apiece in there at 12.30 in the first period. Still no score. That bobbles out to Verta. Verta, the big defenseman, feeds it up on the wing. Lettinen squeezed out of the play along the woodwork and back come the Russians. 105 on the finish penalty, 138 on the Russian penalty. Koivu, Koivu dropped. Bezukladnikov hands that off. Bezukladnikov moves out front and waits. Chagorotsky! Karpov set him up and it didn't work. Kiprusov gets it over the boards into the Finnish bench. Well, I don't know if Karpov is trying to prove his point that he could be of help to Anaheim or not, but in the last two games, this guy has been on fire. Karpov with a great individual effort earlier, going through the defense, getting a good shot off. Here he is on the move, looking to be the provider this time in front of the goal. Shargorodsky right there, a close call for the Russians. Karpov walking around Kiprasov. Twenty-four-year-old Shargorodsky takes a break on the bench. 13-0-3, still no score in this one. We knew it would be tight, but this is very, very tight indeed. The Finns with just 39 seconds on the power play. Oyanin getting set to come out. Excuse me, it will be a power play in 39 seconds. Kiprasov to Hamalainen. Hamalainen up on the right side, pumped in. Davidov gets there in a hurry. Makala is there, and Davidov pumps it up on the wing. Not a great pass. The tip! Ivanikov got the blocker on it as he had to react quickly to send that upstairs. Eight seconds now on the Finnish penalty. 43 on the Russian penalty. Ivanikov has really looked sharp out there in the opening stages of this game. The question why he got the start to begin with. We haven't seen him yet, but whatever the decision was, it's turned out to be a good one so far. The Finns haven't been able to put anything by him, and when he's been called upon, he's been well up for the test. The Russians didn't like what they saw on that last situation, so they iced the puck. There's only eight seconds left on Oyanin's penalty, and the Finns will have the power play. Power play will go for 35 seconds as... Sorokin brings it up. Oyanin steps on the ice and the Finns are back at full strength. Kiprasov slams on the brakes and leaves that for Keskinen. Keskinen hits the red line. Keskinen moving up now. Keskinen allowed to walk in, took the shot. Everyone stood there. That comes back to the blue. Another shot upstairs. Another shot comes in, hits a defenseman and the Finns Unable to get those shots through. Paolo had a couple of chances. There's a guy that probably wished the shots had gone through. Smirnov looking like a dartboard out there. He got hit with two shots on the play. First one going up high on him. The second one off the shin pads. He wasn't too shy about going over to the bench and getting a change.
face off as Koivu gets it back. Just eight seconds now on the power play. Torgayev gets set and jumps back on the ice. The Russians back at full strength. Laukinen. Laukin, a long clearance into the corner. The Finns now looking to set it up. Lettinen. Lettinen working with Peltinen. Peltinen unable to trap that along the boards with Lettinen working hard. Laukinen goes in. And that's dropped all the way back into the circle. Play allowed to continue despite a couple of players falling. A little flip over to Koivu. Koivu puts on the brakes with Torgayev. The shot comes in. Ivanikov goes down, but no save on the play. Handed right to Eftukin. Eftukin with space to room out or move out there. And Ivanov was breaking quickly on the right-hand side and perhaps a little too quickly. Ivanov moving up quick from his defensive spot just ahead of the play. The Russians continue to look impressive blocking shots. Ivanikov has made saves, but the Russian defense have blocked at least five shots in this period. Take a look at uh, King Harold of Norway. He really likes his ice hockey. He's attended most of the games. And, you know, he seems to be enjoying himself. The Russians with Alatalo out front, shadowing. Pass right in the middle. Goretzky breaks it off and that's all dumped into the finished zone, flipped out. And the fans of the Russians playing a lot of hockey in the neutral zone. Vezukladnikov right out front. And the Finns trying to get it out. Keskinen swipes at it. Tertishny kept it in for the moment. That bobbles in neutralized territory. A little pass forward. Vezukladnikov slams on the brakes, does a 360, flips it all the way in in front of the goal, and that goes into the near corner. Hamalainen works down the left side, breaks into center. Hamalainen waiting for a little support, gently taps it off the boards. Four minutes to go in the period. Thrown back as Virta goes deep, along with Sormanen. Vinogradov one side, Torgayev on the other side. Nikolishin fires it in deep. Big hit on Kapanen. Kapanen gets up in a hurry. Makala, Makala, right in front. And the Finns unable to put the stick on the puck as that comes all the way back to Sormanen. Sormanen right up the middle to Kapanen. Kapanen is taken out of the play by Nikolishin. And the Finns again start up from their own blue line. Sormanen, a long shot on goal. Makala goes in, can't get a stick on that. The long pass goes off Guzmanov stick, trickles down in a finished territory, and the Finns with Makala trying to make something work at the Russian blue line. Sorokin, three minutes now on the period. Sorokin checked out of the play. This could be dangerous. Palo the shot. Ivanikov went down. And we have another whistle on the play, but Paolo doing a great job of checking in the neutral zone. Good quick burst from Paolo in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Pushed the puck to the outside and went to the forehand. Just a reminder that we will show the men's 500 and ladies 1,000 short track final after the first period. And the men's 5,000 meters relay will be shown after the second period, so you will not lose out on seeing the short track. I know it's very exciting and uh, we had to leave it to come to the hockey but it'll come up during the breaks. Time ticking down on this first period. The Russians getting it out of the zone but losing it right in neutralized territory. Niemann right out front. The score! Niemann set it up. 1-0 for the Finns. It was a matter of time before this was going to happen. The Finns have been pressing harder and harder. The Russian defense has been very strong. Ivanikov has done the job. But finally, Paolo and Niemann get something going for the Finns. Niemann with a good heads-up pass. Paolo right in the slot. Drives the wrist shot past Ivanikov. The Finns on the scoreboard first. Niemann in such a heads-up player. Really lays the pass back nicely. Paolo doesn't make a mistake. At that range, he is right at home. 
17.32, the time of the goal. And that could open things wide up here in this game for bronze. From the face-off, Koivu to Lettinen. Comes back to Laukinen. Laukinen flicks that high, and Ivanikov has to hang on to that. That was nicely set up by Niemann. We take another look at this. You can see him having a look out of the corner of his eye all the way. The Russians make the mistake of two players going with Niemann. Tikhanov's going to mention that one without a doubt. Players chasing the puck carrier, not picking up the trailers. Tertishny. Goes around the left side of the net and elects just to throw it into neutralized territory to get it out of the zone. Laukinen quickly up onto the red line. Tertishny is back. Tertishny goes through the circle and puts it up on the line. Veritsky was the intended receiver and that doesn't work and the Finns are buzzing in neutralized territory. Peltonen right in on the goalie. Koivu is in the corner. Koivu taken out by Tertishny and Koivu picks it up. Good head fake. Right across going in on Ivanikov. The short side is there and they can't just jam it in. The goaltender got the glove out. You can bring out all the terms for Koivu. Dipsy Doodle, Bob and Weave, say what you want. This guy can really go. Great head fake, shoulder fake. He had the Russians going one way. He's going the other way and his pass is a good one. The unfortunate thing is that the Finns have got a left shot on the right side. He's got to pull the puck from the backhand of the forehand. That's Lettinen. Great pass, though, from young Koivu. Lettinen comes in close, but he ends up putting the puck right into Ivanikov. In the faceoff, still time. Shot comes in, and again, Ivanikov hangs on to that. It's all the little things that count. A good look at Niemann on the bench. Getting set for his next shift. He's got the look on his face like he can't wait to get back out. The Finns are enjoying themselves right now. All the pressure is on the Russian net. The face-offs are critical, as I started to say. The little things have got to be done. Oyanin taking the draw for the Finns. He won it cleanly the last time. 126 remaining on the first period. Nikolishin is not happy. Being told to get out of the face-off circle. He does it reluctantly. The Russians win it and get it. On the move, up the right side. A long pass through the middle. Goes all the way down. Nikolishin goes in there. Alatalo gives it away to Vinogradov. Vinogradov taken out of the play by Alatalo. And Verta comes in. Verta, big hit on him by six. Tarasov. Tarasov really muscling hard. Davidov takes a big chop. One minute remaining as Varus muscles in the corner. That bobbles out into neutralized territory and the Finns tee it up and shoot it right back in. A bouncing puck right out front and that's in the net. Whoa, early on in this competition, Bolts, we talked about these wicked bounces and we've just seen one of them. That's a goalie's nightmare. I wouldn't want Ivanikov on my baseball team after a play like that, though. You've got to at least get your body in front of the puck. The weird and wonderful bounces off the puck boards are one thing, but the goalie, once he decides to go out in no man's land, he's got to get the pads or his chest or something in front of the puck. Alitalo comes in, puts the puck in the net, then drops Ivanikov just for good measure. Out of my way, pal. I want the goal. The Finns with two now in the first period. Once Alitalo had that head of steam going, you could see him on the bench saying, hey, yeah, I got a good piece of the goalie as well. How do you like that? 19-16, the time of the goal. So the Finns have picked up a couple of goals in two and a half minutes, less than two and a half minutes. Sorokin got the pass off. Kudashov now, he knows he's running out of time, tries to get it in front. Guzmanov is there. Mulish picks that up in the crease. Stromberg mixes it up and that's the last thing the Finnish coach wants now. He's got a two goal lead out there. Stay out of the penalty box. That's the word from the bench. The Russians certainly don't need the rough stuff. They need to get themselves on track and start generating some offense. 
Nicolician going after his man. The puck was sent in very hard. It was bouncing around. It went the right way as far as Alitalo is concerned. Strange goal, but it counts. Laukinen off the boards. That trickles out over the red line, or over the blue line, then the red line. Kapanen taken out of the play by Sorokin. Loose puck from behind. The Finns doing a great job of checking out there. A bounce off the defenseman. And the Russians now are away to the races with seven seconds. Guzmanov takes a shot upstairs. One second on the period, and there goes the buzzer. A fiery end to this first period with Paolo and Alatalo coming up with goals for Finland. And that's the way it stands right now, 2-0. to nil. Rough stuff once again at the end of the period. No love lost between these teams. One of them will get a medal and one won't. This is the big one for Braun, so... It's an all-important match for both of them. There's no way they can afford to lose this one. 40 minutes of hockey to go. And remember that the men's 500 and ladies 1,000 short track finals will come up in just a moment. An excellent first period, hard-hitting first period. Mulish came up big a couple of times. Ivanikov came up a few times with some key saves. And uh, we saw some excellent hard hitting in all three zones out there. So it really hasn't disappointed us, has it? Welcome back to our big game live on Eurosport. Russia against Finland. After 20 minutes of hockey, the Finns are leading the Russians 2-0. Two quick goals right at the end of the period. A strange goal by Alatalo that bounced off the backboards. The goaltender tried to glove it down, couldn't do it. And uh, Alatalo came cruising in with everybody standing around and said, thank you very much. That was right at the end of the period. So the Finns went into the dressing room very happy indeed. They got better as the period went on. Tikhanov's had three gold medals. The worst he's done is a silver ever in his career as a coach of the Olympic team. He had the silver medal in Lake Placid, New York in 1980. He isn't going to get gold or silver, but he does want a bronze medal. And you can bet that the Russians are going to start playing better hockey than they did in the first period. The Finns have only ever had a, a silver, and that was back in 88, so they won't improve on that. But they would love to add another medal, even if it is a bronze, to their collection of one. The Norwegians have had a nice Olympic Games. They've really picked up medals in a lot of events, skiing, etc. They've done very well. So the Finns being their neighbors, the Finns and the Swedes, who have normally the strength of hockey. The Norwegians don't have a say in this sport, but they've done well for themselves. Otherwise, a great crowd again in attendance. A lot of Norwegian people just continue to come out and cheer for all these teams during these hockey games. Both teams getting settled now as we get set to start this second period. Ivanikov goes between the pipes. And a strange choice by Tikhanov to put in a goaltender that hasn't played in the competition, but uh, it's his decision. Kudashov in the face-off circle for the Russians and Helmanen for the Finns. The Russians playing from right to left now with Smirnov. Backhands that to the far circle, and the Russians try to get things going. They need a couple of goals. Kudashov rattles it off the backboards. That bounces to the far side, right out front. Backhander, Mulish got the glove up. Berezin got the shot away, and Tikhanov is late for a very important date. Well, you can bet it wasn't because he was stuck in the queue for a hot dog. It's got to be a good reason. We'll leave it at that. Might have been sharpening up his own skates. I don't know. Keep seeing what he's seeing. Now he might get out there himself. Ed Tukin in the face-off circle. Keskinen tries to get it back. And the Russians 
Moving in closely, the shot right in front. The one-timer from Guzmanov is wide of the target. Guzmanov now brought down, and we're going to have a penalty on the play. Hooking is the call. Johansson was standing about three feet away from that one. Neiman on one knee, shaking his head. Alitalo having a quick word. Close call. Etiukin going as Guzmanov off the pass from Etiukin right in front of the net. Guzmanov unable to put the puck away. The action continues. Guzmanov brought down for the second time in about 10 seconds. Neiman touches the puck. Penalties on Stromberg for hooking 36 seconds into the period. Power play for the Russians as they get the face off deep in finished territory. If Tukin stays out there, Berezin. Right back to the blue, shot upstairs, deflected away. Tarasenko cruising in front, looking for a loose puck. Sorokin let the rubber fly. He's got a good quick shot. Face off at the top of the circle. Tukin gets it over to Sorokin. Laukinen takes a big chop. Tarasenko tries to feed it all the way back and the Russians have to go back. One forty on the power play. Torgeyev. Still with Torgeyev. Utila. Utila hammers that off the boards and it goes up over the board so we'll have another face off as the Russians are unable at the moment anyway to get this one flowing. All five Russian players changing. They'll try something else. off just outside the blue line. Bezu Kladnikov. That eventually comes over. Voritsky. Still with Voritsky along the boards. He's dropped and the Finns get it out. The Russians going back with Tertishny. Tertishny slams on the brakes and that could have been dangerous. He had the puck right at the goaltender's feet. And uh, Ivanikov wasn't concentrating at all. One minute on the power play. Chagorodsky along the boards. Munich comes out and stops it and peppers it right back out of the zone. Good goaltending, clever thinking. Petitioni quickly up to the blue line. The Finns get up there in a hurry with Peltonen trapping it and Chagorodsky has to go deep. Vinogradov breaks to the right as Chagorodsky is chased back by Kopanen. Kapanen races up now and tries to leave it for Hamalainen. Denisov with 26 seconds on the power play. Hits the blue, hits the red. Denisov comes up, lets the shot go. Munich makes the save. Nikolishin bangs off the boards, puts it in the corner. And Nikolishin comes in with a heavy hit, but the Russians have to chase again. In through neutralized territory, five seconds on the power play. This one was not impressive at all. That's pushed away in the fins with Kapanen and Stromberg, who stepped out of the box. Stromberg Looking to go on the attack. Stromberg fresh out of the box, getting involved with Tarasov. The Russians weren't allowed at all to even set the puck up with that two-minute advantage. you would expect for this bronze medal game. Utila, a long pass up on the left wing. Sorokin gets in deep. Smirnov provides a little interference on Oyanin. The Russians getting it out with a degree of ease. Kudyshov is taken out of the play, but Vinogradov couldn't go any further. Tap up on the wing, and it's close checking out there. Varus. Varis goes in behind the boards, or behind the uh, red line, rather, along the boards, and the Finns now 
Look to keep it in the corner. Alatalo. Kudashov. Kudashov makes a nice move to get away from one man. Kudashov now breaking up. Kudashov, good move. Gets it over on the wing. Guzmanov right in front. Kudashov went in and couldn't get the shot away. Two of them. The goal corner was open. Alatalo back on the attack. Right in front. And some good defensive stuff by Guzmanov to get back in the play. That's great defensive work by Guzmanov who went very close in front of the finish goal. He got all the way back into the play and he's the one that provided the back checking to take the fins off the puck. Togayev goes in hard. Kiprasov picks it up. Off the boards. Vinogradov got in there. Good check by Kiprasov. And both teams are really close checking out there. Shendelev offside as Munich gloves that one down. This one's fast. At times it's wide open and at times it's very, very tight. Shot taken after the whistle. The Finns show that they aren't going to really be too pleased with that and it isn't going to happen again. A few words exchanged, a little hit thrown after the whistle. It sounds trivial, but it could injure someone when you shoot after the whistle because as soon as you hear that whistle, everyone relaxes. And if someone stays around and takes a shot and you happen to be a goaltender who's just relaxed and was perhaps thinking about what he was going to do after the game, then whoa, you could be in trouble. Nothing personal, Paul, but I never used to worry about the goaltender on those. Let the <laughs> shot go. I used to just be concerned about the defenseman coming my way. And was that goaltender? The officials sealing up a small crack in the ice. It's a big building, but he's not that far away, I can assure you. Verta. Up to Kapanen. Kapanen is ridden out of the play. Shagorodsky goes in. Makala. Makala right out front. That deflected away, got it back to Makla, who gets it back to the blue. Kapanen is circling in front of the net. Kapanen now goes in, three fins behind the goal. Makla is calling for it. Helmanen. Helmanen, Makla along the boards. Goethe now moves in quickly. Makla pushes it to the far side. Bezukladnikov. Karpov gets it out of the zone, and the fins whip it right back into the blue line. Kapanen tries to trap it in. Some good stuff to get out of the zone. And Makala has it. Makala loses out. And boy, that was really tight right on the far side. Karpov. Karpov. Comes to a complete halt. Karpov picks up the puck. Gets away from Kapanen. Another move. Good move by Karpov. And Munich went down as Nikolishin went in and just couldn't get the shot right on goal. Karpov again. Fins have got to play the body on him really makes things look easy on the ice. He actually had his head down on that play and still pulled off one too many moves. The defense will be told about that on the bench. Baritsky's face looking like 40 miles of bad road out there. I think he's gone through a barbed wire fence or something, but he caught a high stick a couple games ago and went off the ice and was stitched up between the periods. Sporting a nice black eye as well now. The Finns unable to connect on that one. Smirnov picks it up and taps it up on the wing to Nikolishin. His pass in the center is a good one, but the return pass ends up with Paolo. Paolo breaking now. Going to be an offside by a stride and a half. You can see that one coming. Niemann on the left wing. The puck would have been there, but Paolo's intention was right. He was just trying to wait for the right moment to slip it through the Russian defenseman. 2-0 the score here. This is for the bronze medal. The Finns are leading the Russians in the second period. We're live on Eurosport. Koivu. Coming up to the six-minute mark. Bouncing puck. Lands nicely. Berezin. Berezin, a shot from a sharp angle, goes behind the net, and that bounces all the way down the ice. And again, we see those Russians unable to get the good quality shots on goal. Smirnov rattles that off the woodwork, and that goes right back into the zone. Letinen, Letinen 
taken out of the play. Guzmanov gets back in a hurry to muscle and do some defensive work as Stromberg throws it along the boards. Lettinen. Lettinen lost out in the circle and the Russians and the Finns go at it along the boards. Lettinen again takes a swipe at it. Kudashov fires it in. Mulish comes out, slows it down. Stromberg taps it over to the far wing. The Finns now coming up quickly. Lettinen taken out of the play, dragged down from behind. Big penalty coming up. Drag down from behind is the right word. Holding is the call as far as the referee is letting everybody know the Russians will go to the box. Lettinen at center ice. The collar is put on there and the Russians go to the box. Shendelev at 6.43. The Finns have a power play. Shendelev will sit for two and the faceoff is in Russian territory. From the faceoff, Makala lets that come back. Makala. Makala working with Helmanen. Helmanen has Utila back at the blue line. Utila, Helmanen with a golden opportunity to shoot. Let's it go for the far corner. Ivanikov got a tip. There could have been another stick in there too, and that goes upstairs. Yannin and Stromberg fighting for position in front of the net. Shot by Udala. They like to use that when number five sits out high on the blue line. They work it from the slot back to him, and he'll he'll be the guy to dictate where the play is going. Anxious moments behind the Finnish bench. Again, Makala breaks in, lifts the stick, pops it back to the blue line. And the Finns with Utila keep it in. Helmanen moves slowly along the boards. Helmanen looking for Makala. Helmanen with Keskinen out front. Makala moves in front now, running out of places to go. Makala. Again, Makala moves in behind that red line. That bobbles to the far side. Helmanen had problems controlling that. Torgeyev got the push away. Sormanen gets back in a hurry and Stromberg is there to free the puck and send it over the red line. One minute, three seconds remaining on the power play. Shendelev still sitting in the box for holding. Right up to the blue line. Makla now on the hash marks. Helmanen behind the net. Oyanin moves in front. Makla, a lot of time being set up. No shots on goal. Helmanen, a lot of traffic in front. Makla. Let's the shot go. Ivanikov got the chest on it. Makala back along the hash marks. Helmanen throws it out high. Big shot comes in. Utila let it fly. And that bounced upstairs all the way back to Utila. Helmanen. Utila. And again, a lot of time being taken on this power play. Another shot comes in. The deflection. Stromberg got a piece of it. Helmanen tries to hold it. There's going to be a penalty on the play. Makala's in there. The Russians get the touch. And we have another power play coming up. As soon as the Finns realized that the referee had his arm in the air, they shot the puck right to a Russian player. They wanted the play to stop. In front of the goal, it's tough going. Makala is being bear hugged. Tarasov has got the bear hug on. He's got a hold of his stick. Exactly why the Finns wanted the Russians to touch the puck because Shendelev is still in the box even though it's only for another 10 seconds. The Finns will have a five on three for that period of time. And then Tarasov will be in there for a further minute and 50. Tikhanov is not happy for obvious reasons. It's a five on three situation. The Finns are leading by two. 8.33 gone in the second period. The Russians with Koivu and Nikolishin in the face-off circle. The Russians, I was about to say, need to kill off eight seconds to kill the first penalty. Verta 
Berta quickly in. The Russians want to do something in a or the Finns rather want to do something in a hurry. Kwaifu trying to slip it in front. Loose puck right in the crease and it's cleared away. The first penalty has expired. A quick change out there for the Russians and back come the Finns. They've got a one-man advantage. Keskinen. Good move by Keskinen as he sweeps that to the far side. Kiprusov now moves out on the blue as that comes to the hash marks. Kiprusov. Back into the top of the circle. Keskinen, Makala, Verte is right up close. Big shot, big save. Kiprasov let it go. Ivanikov falls to the knees and the glove hand goes up. Finns changing the power play up a little bit. Now going with Kiprasov. Mutala getting a rest. Kiprasov, the guy setting it up from the blue line. He let it go. Sorokin and Smirnov have got their hands full as the two Russian defensemen in front of the goal. There's two Finns muscling with them for screens, tips, or anything they can get their hands on. Nine twelve now gone on the period as the Finns set it up again with Kiprasov dancing around the blue. Throws it in on the left wing. Shot. Everyone getting in front of that puck. Berta unable to glove that one down. Big backhander comes in. Varus, or Lettinen rather, got a piece of that. One minute on the power play. Berta riddles that into Koivu. Koivu walks along the board slowly. Koivu. Koivu all the way back to Berta. The Russians are not moving out there. Koivu gets it back. Berta shot upstairs and that hit a defenseman. Koivu trying to work right in front. The puck is still not away. Kiprasov. Ivanov keeps his eye on him. Berezin. Kudashov all moving around but not letting the box collapse. Koivu got it right in front. Eventually it's cleared out over. It trickles through the skates of Kiprasov. And Koivu brings it back in in a hurry. Rick White passes a good one. It's still not away as the Finns bring it in quickly. Five seconds on the power play. Shot score! Well, Ivanov had blocked two shots. This time Ivanov goes down on his knees, and I think he screamed. Ivanikov in the goal. Shot was a wrist shot. It went right by Ivanov and by Ivanikov. The third finished goal is now on the board. Let's take a look at this again. Peltonen coming out of the corner. He slams on the brakes. Ivanov goes right down on his knees. He doesn't block the shot. Ivanikov, I don't think, even sees the puck. By the time he reacts, it's over him, and it's the third goal. A power play goal scored by Peltonen. The assist going to Koivu. Three nil the score at 10.30 of the second period and the Finns have to be given credit here for patience they certainly took their time when a lot of fans were calling for these guys to shoot 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 they waited for the moment Pelton and took it and made it pay the Russians now need to do something in a hurry Hamalainen Gets that away up on the wing, and the Finns start it up quickly. Stromberg feeds that right through. Shargorodsky goes deep. Shargorodsky trying to get it away, but he's checked out of the play. Some good stuff from Niemannen. Niemannen drops it back. Torgeyev breaks one way. And Tarasenko throws it into the corner. Munich comes out and gets a tip. Hamalainen. Paolo wants it along the boards, and Paolo gets it. Gives it right to Eftukin. Eftukin throws it right up to the blue line. Torgeyev was breaking right in with Tarasenko not far behind, and the offside whistle blows. The Finns continue to apply pressure. One goal in this period, that would be a power play goal. The Russians still need something offensively. The Finns have won six games and lost only one. And no matter who wins the gold medal, if the Finns win this one today, they will have the best record 
in the competition. And they still can only pick up bronze. But this one is far from over. That's speculation. Tarasov tips it up along the boards and they give it right to Laukinen. Laukinen fires that one in. Bounces to the near side and the Russians need something magical in a hurry. Kertishny taken off the puck by Alatalo. That comes out front. Oyanin couldn't get a handle on it. Look at the pressure coming on Varitsky. Three fins cutting him down. Oyanin. His pass slides out over the blue. All the fins have to come out. Laukinen shoots it in. Still a 3-0 ball game out there as the Russians come out and lose it to Kapanen. Kapanen just chops at it and sends it right back into the zone. Varitsky along the boards. Karpov taps it up. And the Russians are not allowed to get past that uh, red line as Bezukladnikov was taken out of the play. Tarasov. Pass right up the middle is not a good one. The Russians are not connecting with those passes. It's a great trap that the Finns are applying. One guy goes at the puck carrier. Even if it's toward the neutral zone, he forces them to the outside. The second forward is like a backup, and they still have three men deep. The Russians just don't have anywhere to move right now. Sorokin, his pass hit a forward. Helmanen goes to the far side. That bobbles up. Nikolishin is tied up. He can't go. Kapanen. Good pass by Kapanen. Sorokin goes after his man, tries to drag him down. Makala. Helmanen. Helmanen stays on it. Makala has it. Makala, good little pass. The wraparound. Kapanen just couldn't get it away. And this is sheer pressure from the Finns. Vinogradov behind his own net. Finland back on the attack. Sorokin goes after his man. Makala takes it along the boards. Trying to get away from Tarasov. Kapanen. Kapanen eventually loses out and the Russians throwing the puck around are having problems even getting over that red line. Just incredible stuff by the Finns. The Finns are playing this game like it's a half ice scrimmage. They are just taking the ice right away from the Russians. When the puck goes to the other side, the defenseman steps right up and takes the Russian away and the other players just readjust. Sorokin whistles that down the ice. Sheer frustration made him do that. These guys are not being allowed to play their game. Well, we've said it before. The Finns gave up five goals in six games. And the Canadians finally found some kind of a formula to break down in the last game. And they scored five on the Finns. The Russians have not found that formula. Maybe they should look at the videos between the second and third period. Kiprusov backhands that right at the goalie. Ivanikov hangs on and will have another faceoff. Niemann tries to swallow his Adam's apple again. Playing a little rough around the front of the goal. The elbows and sticks coming up a little. It's rough on the boards too. 15 saves for Ivanikov. minutes and 55 seconds remaining on the period. Guzmanov goes in and takes over the face-off duties. Guzmanov working against Keskinen. Guzmanov picks it up. Keskinen takes a swipe. And the Finns again win that pet. Niemann. Jutila takes the first shot. Spent a little too much time on it. Berezin pops it behind the goal. Ivanov gets it and moves up. Ivanov unable to control it and these guys are having problems doing basics out there Kudashov Shendele the pass is not contained by the Russians and Powell brings it in he's poke checked off the puck and the Russians now with some singing in the background they want to see something positive from the Russians that bounced and hit the back of the net Kiprasov was hammered by Berezin Loose puck in front is batted away by the Finns, and that goes down into Russian territory. The Russians haven't had a shot on Munich for about a week and a half out there. Munich is still in the game, but he hasn't been tested for a long time. Turgayev spins around. Peltonen tries to get it going, and that's just flipped in. 
Loose puck in front, and Mulish grabs it. Torgayev comes in quickly, and the arms and sticks go up. But it wasn't a real shot on goal. Well, Kiprasov got the glove on the puck. Once the puck left his glove and went to the ice, he was lost for just a split second. Slight panic by him, but Mulish able to cover the puck up. You're right, Paul, it wasn't actually a shot on the goal. The Finns seem to have the Russians' number. 5-0 in the opening round. The Finns just dominated, took them out of the play, and the Russians couldn't score a goal. This game is going much the same way right now. The Finns slowly keep putting a puck in the net here and there, and the Russians just can't seem to buy one. Koivu out there. The shot comes in, and Munich this time is tested. Well, that time it wasn't down to... The defense at all. That was a good save by Mulish. That one went at him in a hurry. Tishny really let that one go. Face off is won. Beznu Kladnikov. That shot is drilled. Mulish with a good save. Moritsky, a big chop in there, and the Russians go on the defensive as Lechina goes in. He spun out of the play. Ivanikov is hung up in his own goal. Moritsky. Moritsky is closed down right on the blue line. Harpoff, good pass to Bezu Kladnikov. Bezu Kladnikov drops it back, and again, the Finns have their number. You can see that was going to happen. Karpov starts it up again. Karpov lost that for a moment. The shot comes in, and that's wide of the net with Bezu Kladnikov getting a piece of it. Koivu intercepting and just flipping high. He wants a change, so do the Russians. All the way down the ice. A whistle on the play as that's cleared up by Davida. Kudashov puts that in the Finnish territory. Varis is there to get it out. Tarasov. Long pass into neutral ice territory. Torgayev was tied up. Davida goes back with Tarasov. Hamelainen is chasing. Coming up on the wing now, Denisov, Nikolishin. Denisov goes into the corner, Nikolishin is out front, Nikolishin now in there quickly. Nikolishin pumping away, it's a two-on-two -two situation. Hamelainen is standing back against Nikolishin. Vinogradov gets in and puts the hold on. Vinogradov tries to work out front, he doesn't, can't put it in the net. Lula stayed with him, good goaltending. Vinogradov, Nikolishin, Vinogradov. Denisov was camped out front for about five seconds. There was no one on him, and the puck didn't come his way. All the way back to Sorokin. Alatalo takes him out, and again we see the Finns following through on those checks. Nikolishin gets it as far as the blue line. Berezin to the far wing, a chance to shoot, and the Russians should take those shots when they're available. Not a lot of time on the right wing. Barrett, and he might better have let that one go. You're trailing by three. Why not uh, test Munich? There's a good chance he won't be that sharp because he hasn't had that many saves to make. Well, that time Kuzmanov does try to shoot. The Finns close the D in. The puck goes off a stick up onto the netting above the plexiglass, and we'll have a face-off. reminder that the men's 5,000 meters relay in the short track will be shown after the second period so stay with us for that tomorrow the big battle for gold and silver Canada and Sweden that's live on Eurosport so be sure to join us Sorokin goes down to defend against that one 3-0 still the score and this one the Finns circling the net Bobbles all the way down the ice, going quickly forward is Verta. Verta's back pass gets away from Kudashov. Makala flips it up nicely. 14, Helman and takes the shot. Rebound, no shot goes in. Kiprasov let it ride. Kiprasov sent that one way over the net. The puck must have stood up on him as the puck just went straight over the goal. Guzmanov tries to get it out. Kudashov was right there and he was taken out of the play. Makala. Gives it right to Kudashov. What was he thinking there? And the Finns grabbed it right back. 
It's almost as if there are more Finns on the ice than there are Russians. Laukinen, the shot. Ivanikov fanned on that one, but recovered very, very quickly indeed. The clearance was moving out front. He got the leg in and directed it right towards the net. And then said, whoops, that's not the right thing to do. It's been a rough day at the office for Ivanikov, and he's still got another period of hockey to go. Laukinen directing it toward the front of the net. Ivanikov knows he's in trouble. He does a good job of, end, of being his own best friend at the end. Spinning around very quickly. Good reflexes, getting the glove on the puck and holding on. From the faceoff, Paolo is dumped. Hamalainen reps that forward. One minute remaining on the period. The shot comes in and Neiman had got a piece of it, but so did Ivanikov. Ivanov. Unable to get it out of the zone. Torgayev. Torgayev goes after his man. And again, the Russians are under pressure. Shot score! Stromberg, big shot on the right side. That's number four. Stromberg certainly pumped that one into the goal. Again, the Russians struggling to get out of their own zone. It sounds like broken records, Paul, but it's fact. They just can't move the puck against the Finns. Niemann sees Stromberg open. He's got about a day and a half. He can have a picnic over there. He's all by himself. Tees it up, lets it go. Ivanikov can't get the glove on this one. That is a blast. Nineteen twenty-four, the time of the goal. Well, from day one, when we first saw the Finns, we knew that they were playing good hockey. And I must it was must admit it was a surprise when the Canadians beat them to knock them out of the gold and silver round, because they have played some I hate to use the word, but some awesome hockey. And they deserve to be going for silver or gold. It didn't happen. The Canadians beat them. And right now they are trouncing the Russians. Karpov shot on the goal. Munich makes it look easy. And that's the end of the period. Everyone comes together. But the Russians will go to the dressing room. And they will be blasted by Tikhanov. They're not playing good hockey, but to be fair to them, they're not being allowed to play any kind of hockey out there. Well, the Finns have gone back to the system that had them undefeated throughout the first round. Both teams now are going to take a 15-minute break. Laukinen bangs it off the boards and the Russians will have to go deep into their own zone. Tarasov back with Davidov. Tarasov, little pass forward. Coming up quickly is Denisov. This is looking more promising. The shot comes in. The Russians got to hit that net. Nikolishin got it over and Davidov just couldn't trap it on the blue line. Niemannen. Passes over to the left wing as the Finns go down the ice and Keskinen just dumped it all the way down. Nikolishin goes up on the left wing for a change. Berezin. Berezin has got speed. His shot is well wide of the target. Tertishny. And again, it must be so frustrating for the Russians as the Finns seem to just kill this attack off before it starts. Berezin let the shot go. Mulish made the good save on the far side. The Russians now start moving it up and down with Berezin. Berezin on the backhand. Verza goes in after him. The puck along the corner. Kudashov is calling for it in the corner. And it comes all the way back to the blue line. But look at the Finns who are out there. The Russians are all very deep indeed. This be could be dangerous. Peltonen 
Pelton and waits for support, keeps it in the zone, gives it over to Hamalainen who doubles back. Smirnoff with 26 seconds on the penalty, just gives it right to the Finns. Long clearance, bounce out front. Koivu with a shot, Letson in is right there. Smirnoff comes up with it. And this is probably one of the first worst power plays I've ever seen. The Russians out there, they've got five seconds to do something. And Lettinen just rips it around the boards. That's stopped right at the blue line. The Finns are back at full strength and they're on the attack. Stromberg up to Koivu. Stromberg moves out front. Koivu in the corner. Koivu moving along the boards. And Lettinen taken out as Ivanov picks it up. The Russians with a lot of motion out there going through quick changes, but oh, that was nice. The shot from Varus went upstairs. And the Finns are so quick to grab these pucks off the Russians. Shendelev drives that along the board. Zalatalo pops it right in and went past Varus. Shendelev again working in there hard. Eight minutes gone in the period, 4-0 the score. The Russians are struggling. Karpov tries to get a handle on that and does. Karpov grabs his man in neutralized territory. The Finns continue to play hockey. Shot in. Shargorodsky couldn't slow it down and uh, Oyanin drops it in behind the red. Alitalo got it right out front. Hamalainen on the far side of the rink. Shargorodsky goes after him. Alitalo there takes a hit. And the Russians again continue to struggle in their own zone. Karpov, the shot. Mulish had no problem with that at all. No problems at all. Easy shot and the Finns are on the attack again. Oyanin got it over to Varus. And the Finns are looking for a change out there. Nikolishin runs into trouble. Nine minutes gone now. Vinogradov. Vinogradov with Nikolishin. The shot again is deflected high. Denisov on the far side. Stromberg rubs him out along the boards. Makala is there too, but Denisov comes up with a good little poke to put it in behind the goal. Hamalainen took a bounce that uh, favored the Russians. Denisov out front couldn't bat that down and it shot all the way down the ice. Icing is the call. Boy, it's almost like the Russians aren't even out there. Well, it's not like they're not trying. They are putting up as much of an effort as they can. They're skating hard. They can't be criticized for that. They're just plain and simply can't get the right combinations going together or string the right passes to get themselves in a position to get a quality shot. They haven't had a good quality shot on Mulish in this period yet. Face-off in Finnish territory. That comes all the way back to Sorokin. Sorokin. On the backhand, can't get it by Kiprusov. Sorokin drops Kiprusov and hands the puck off. The shot was wide of the target. Tertishny. Kudashov back on the blue. And again, the Russians fired in and look to set something up. Kiprusov quickly back there. Guzmanov chases him down and the Finns shoot it down the ice. They're, they're leading by four to nil, and they're in no hurry to make any mistake out there. Finns will change things up again. The play has slowed down. The Finns were having one forward come back to help with the breakout. Normally the center. Finns are starting to go a little bit higher out toward the blue line. The defensemen are trying to hit them as the Russian forwards are coming in on the four check. We're getting two or three icing calls here. Coming up to the 10 minute mark of this third period. Time is running out for the Russians. Tap up on the wing. Niemannen, rink wide pass to Laukinen. Laukinen fakes a shot and puts it in the corner. Niemannen goes in hard. Niemannen with Keskinen along the boards. Paolo, Niemannen and Keskinen now. Keskinen dumps it in over the red line. And Torgayev picks it up, gets away from Niemannen, gets away from Paolo, gives it to Evtukin. Back to Torgayev. Torgayev works his way into the corner. Utila follows him in, and Niemannen picks it up. Right back to Torgayev. Torgayev working right out front. 
And Paolo got back to help clear that away, but Torgayev continues to work hard out there. Tarasenko gets it back. The shot comes in, and Munich is tested finally and comes up big. He's tested, but it's a shot right from the blue line, and there was nobody screening him. He should have made the save. And he does. Tertitian, he lets it go. It's right at Mulish. All he has to do is get his body in front of it. He holds on for a face-off. Torgayev taken out of the play nicely in front of the goal. Mulish has only seen 19 shots in this game. So we've had three shots in this period. On the finished goal, Sormanen floats that along and Tertitiany picks it up. Tertitiany at the second attempt sails it back into Finnish territory and the Finns quickly get it out of the zone. Working hard from the blue line. Chargorodsky goes back on Lettinen. Lettinen gets it out front and that comes all the way over to the blue line. And we have a whistle on the plate as Sormanen brought it in. Offside is the call. Well, we really did think that the Russians were going to put up a better fight than this one. We knew that they got beat 5-0 the last time they met, but uh, I personally was hoping for better things from them just to make it interesting. Well, we had ourselves all pumped up, Paul. We said the Russians came back late against the Swedes, and the Canadians convincingly beat the Finns. So the Russians are going to come out hard, and it's going to be tough, and the Finns might have to battle to come back. Boy, did we ever have that one right. The Finns are out in front 4-0. <laughs> well, you and, on, you and I have done our part. I think it's about time the Russians got into the game. We know the Finns are playing great hockey. Davidov now comes down. Davidov, Kiprasov held them off. And the Finns now back on the attack. Coming up quickly at the 12-minute mark. Varus spun around. Nikolishin in the corner goes hard. Double teaming. Nikolishin picks it up and throws it up to uh, Vinogradov. Vinogradov headmans the puck. And Denisov was hit as he took that pass. And that's the end of that for the Russians. Laukinen, a long clearance in. Ivanikov makes the save. And the Finns pick it up with Sorokin going in there. And the Russians now are starting to lose hard out there. Smirnov muscles behind the boards. Sorokin is there. Helmanen just came out with it without even being touched. Kapanen. Kapanen to Helmanen. The return pass from Makala goes over to the far side to Berezin. Berezin throws it through neutral ice and the Russians are being closed down. Makala quickly back into the zone. Helmanen, Helmanen stick handling through. That's taken off, and here comes Kudashov. Kudashov tries to go through on his own, but you can see the Finns, all four of them, closing down the number nine, who spent 15 games with the Toronto Maple Leafs before being allowed to come to these Olympic Games to play for the Russians. Up on the wing. Ivanov doing a great job of taking his man out. Evtukin is in there on Lettinen. Evtukin, the big center, way back in the corner. Keskinen hits the red line and slides it all the way in. Neither team getting good shots on goal, but the Finns aren't too worried about that. It's a good hard-working line for the Finns. Three right-handed shots. Keskinen, Niemann, and Paolo playing together. Ivanov and Evtukin working on the near side as we approach the 14-minute mark. Torgayev got the shot. It was a weak one. Tarasenko in the corner with Stromberg. Hamalainen muscles. Keskinen wants it, and that comes all the way down to Paolo. Paolo along the boards. Torgayev tries to take him out of the play. Evtukin is way back, and he's caught. The pass doesn't come as Niemann was cruising right in front of the net. The Russians going for a change, so are the Finns, and here come the Russians hitting the red line. The pass up to Veritsky. He can't get it. Three, four Finns closing him down on the wing. Tertishny. Right up the middle. Veritsky. Bezukladnikov is out front. Hamalainen gets it. 
Karpov squirts it right back in to Varinsky. Karpov is there. And again, two Finns go into the corner, come up with a puck. It's been a long time without a whistle. The, lines have, the teams have both changed twice on the fly. A chance now for Varinsky as he moved right in on Hamalainen, but the big defenseman got in front of that and stopped the shot. Tarasov, as both teams continue to change, Denisov. Denisov loses out to Alitalo as Nikolishin picks it up and comes up to the blue line. Nikolishin now at the red line. Nikolishin, stick handling nicely, tries to work his way into the corner. He's grabbed Alitalo all over him. And that comes back to the red line. The shot comes, or the blue line rather, the shot comes in over the red line and the Finns pick it up and start to work down the ice. A tip over to Alitalo. Poked away and both teams will go for another change out there as Kippersoff throws it off to an even wing. Oyanin. High flip in the corner. Tarasov. Four minutes remaining. And it really doesn't look like the Russians have an answer to the Finns' defensive play. Sit back and take a breather, Paul. You've got time for the linesman to run the puck down the ice. Uh, icing is the call, finally. We've been over four minutes without a whistle. And Tikhanov hasn't stopped talking on the bench for that length of time either. He's been going at every player coming off the ice. He's trying any trick that he knows to get these guys going. They started well beating the Norwegians 5-1, but then they were hammered by the Finns 5-0. They beat Austria up 9-1, and then the Germans beat them 4-2. Right in front, Kapanen was there. The goaltender went down. Kapanen from a sharp angle right in front of the crease again. Stromberg keeps it in the zone, and the Finns with Makala, Laukinen. Bouncing puck to the far side. Sorokin gets it up to Kudashov, and Kudashov couldn't hang on to it. Makala, a nice little pass. And Helmanen was the intended receiver on that as Sorokin picks it up. Tarasov, Kudashov, Kudashov the backhand pass and that was a lackluster effort from him as Laukinen picks it up. Berezin is on his man as that's deep, uh, shot in deep. Ivanov, three minutes on the clock and I think the Russians will be happy when this one ends. Shot comes in from Berezin. Tarasenko went in quickly but the Finns always seem to be beating the Russians to that puck out there from neutralized territory. Torgeyev moves it right in front of the net. Munich doesn't have to make a move. He's got a defenseman to do that for him. Niemannen, the drop pass from Paolo. Paolo races in. That's bounced off the plexi. Comes out of the zone. Down the ice. The Russians now. Torgeyev. Torgeyev. Why did he go for that pass with Utila right there. Why didn't he go for the shot? He had a clear shot on net. Play was made in the end by Utila though. He was happy that Torgeyev elected to pass the puck. Torgeyev drops off the pass to Karpov and then goes for a break on the board, on the uh, bench rather. Bezukladnikov goes in quickly. Karpov with two minutes on the clock. Well, what can you say about this game, Bopes? Not a lot. The Finns have played an excellent game. They have just done exactly what they've had to do. It's been great if you're a Finnish fan, but it really hasn't been great hockey. I mean, they've played excellent defensive hockey. They've scored when they needed to, but uh, the scoring opportunities in this third period for both teams have been one or two each at the most. Kudashov falls as that goes in behind the goal. Letinen throws it out. Tarasov whistles it back up into neutral territory. Vinogradov right out front. Denisov was there and just couldn't get the handle on it. Mulish is forced to react. Oyanin on the far side of the rink. Oyanin takes a hit. One minute on the clock. Barris drops it up the shot. Good save, another shot comes in. Ivanikov is sprawling all over the ice. 
Good save on the first one. The rebound came out, and that deflected high. Kavanikov is one guy who would like to get to the shower. The other end of the ice, Mulish has barely broken a sweat. Tammy seems to be enjoying himself. His new job on the bench is to open and close the gate. He's had a couple of good games for himself in these Olympics as well. The congratulations are going out. You said it earlier, Paul, the Finns are going to leave with the bronze medal, and they're going to go out of this tournament with the best record of all teams. They're going to have seven wins and one loss. The only falter in their game plan was the game that they lost to the Canadians. They really have played exceptional hockey. And uh, as you say, they, they, they faltered or they made some mistakes against the Canadians, but that was in a round where you couldn't afford to make a mistake. Usmanov works his way in front with just a few seconds remaining, and the Finns want to keep that shutout for Mulish, so they're keeping the puck out of there. 15 seconds now on the clock. The shot coming from Alatalo, and that bobbles to the side of the net. Eight seconds, the Finnish fans are on their feet. Right in front, the one-timer with three seconds to go from Alatalo. Big save by Ivanikov. The Finns weren't happy with the 4-0 win. They wanted that last goal. Alatalo was right there. His head went up into the sky as soon as Ivanikov covered the puck. Well-deserved victory for the Finns. Tomorrow, the big game is Canada-Sweden. That's for gold and silver. So be sure to join us then for the 3 o'clock Central European time face-off. And there goes the buzzer. The Finns, for my money, although they're not fighting for gold or silver, were without a doubt the best team in this competition. They made one slip-up, and that's why they're not in the final. And the slip-up came when they shouldn't have made the slip-up, if you understand that. This guy, Kurt Lindstrom, has done a marvelous job. At times, the Finns were almost like robots out there. And they performed their jobs with excellent control, with patience, with uh, finesse. They have finally put it all together through Coach Lindstrom. They've got good goaltending, solid, very solid defense, I'm going to add. And they've got goal scorers. Guys like Niemann, Koivu, Oyan, and they can all put the puck in the net. In the past, they either were good offensively and had weak defense. The goaltending was susceptible. Or they just couldn't put the puck in the net. But this year, they really have come together. And the Swedish coach for the Finns now has done one heck of a job. He really has given them that confidence that they perhaps lacked in the past. So it's bronze in 94 to go with the silver in 88. The Russians go home empty-handed, I'm afraid, and Tikhanov, will we see him again? Watch this space. It's got to be the big question mark. His contract expires March the 15th. His name has been synonymous with ice hockey for years and years, and we do hope that he'll surface again somewhere because he is certainly one well-respected guy throughout ice hockey. Some of these Russian players that you've seen throughout these games, don't forget the names. You'll see them on NHL contracts before long. I think you're going to hear from Nikolishin, Bezukladnikov, Veritsky, Karpov. We already know that uh, Kudashov is, is with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So some of the Russians will go on to play in the National Hockey League, and that's really been their problem. All of the youngsters who are good enough to play in the National Hockey League or in Europe, who are good enough to make money, have left Russia, and it's left them with virtually no team at all. I think Tikhanov has put together a great side out there to get them into the Final Four, and he's done a marvelous job as I say even though they didn't perform on this occasion we're going to take a look at the goals that were scored in this game Paolo picked up the first goal for the Finns watch this weird and wonderful shot that goes in the rebound comes off the goalie misjudges it 
And Alatalo goes in to pick up the rebound and make it 2-0. In the second period, on the power play, Pelton and moved out front, unmolested, let the shot go, and the goaltender was beaten for the third time in the game. Then at the end of the second period, Stromberg, the big defenseman, lets the bullet go from about 45 feet out, punches the air, and the Finns at that point knew that this one was in, in the record books as a victory for them. Four goals in the first two periods. A shutout in the net for Mulish. His face says it all. His team all over him to congratulate him. The picture's being taken. The team have distributed their sticks throughout the crowd. Souvenirs for the kids. A very happy Swedish coach. And as Mekola said, Mikko Mekola, number 42, one of the veterans on this team. It was a gutsy move to bring a Swede in. They've been our arch rivals for years. It was a questionable decision. But they're happy with this guy. And Lindstrom has taken this team to new heights. He's